The push for peace with the Taliban comes after 18 years of war, the longest length for U.S. combat forces engaged in battle, surpassing even the Vietnam War. It is imperative, therefore, that direct talks between the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan and the Taliban commence as soon as possible. Many efforts have been made for this purpose, working with Afghan parties. Those efforts have created an opportunity where the beginning of direct talks between the two Afghan parties seems to have come within reach. Yet, often, the period just before coming to an agreement is the most difficult to face. All those who are concerned with peace efforts, above all, the parties to the conflict, need to continue to work to bring about direct talks. I call on the parties to continue to seize the opportunity of direct talks so that a peaceful future could be built. But an escalation in Taliban attacks, including a bomb in the Afghan capital last month, in which 63 people were killed, is undermining efforts towards a peace deal. Afghans are expected to go to the polls on September 28th in their fourth presidential election since 2001, amidst serious security concerns and, according to the United Nations, the possibility of fraud and other irregularities. The SRSG says the deliberate targeting of civilians is a matter of grave concern. Efforts for peace should be accompanied by a reduction in violence. Yet, violence has intensified in recent days. Recent attacks by insurgents in Kunduz, Baglan and Farah, and above all multiple attacks in Kabul, are of serious concern. Trying to obtain the position of strength in negotiation cannot be an excuse for the escalation. The parties to the conflict must reduce violence and civilian casualties to demonstrate the seriousness for peace. This after the United States President announced that ongoing talks with the Taliban set to culminate with a secret meeting at Camp David was now off due to continued attacks in Afghanistan that claimed two U.S. military personnel among the fatalities. They're dead. They're dead. As far as I'm concerned, they're dead. They thought that they had to kill people in order to put themselves in a little better negotiating position. When they did that, they killed 12 people. One happened to be a great American soldier, a wonderful young man from Puerto Rico, families from Puerto Rico. And you can't do that. You can't do that with me. So they're dead as far as I'm concerned. The Afghan government says any peace deal must preserve the gains in strengthening the republic and the constitutional rights of women. The people of Afghanistan have also stressed that the real and genuine pledge to peace by the Taliban should be manifested in ending violence, as well as an engagement in direct peace talks with the Afghan government. The government of Afghanistan, as always, remains committed to peace talks, conducted on a set of common principles, in accordance with the demand and expectation of all Afghans from across the country. President Trump is seeking to reduce the 14,000 U.S. troops in the country, and the peace negotiations were seen as key to bringing such reductions into fruition. South Africa, for its part, told the Council that reaching a lasting peace can only be achieved through an Afghan-owned political process. Sherman Ricepies, SABC News, New York.